Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of June the 5th, 2024, a Wednesday. So first of all, thank you for those who filled out the survey, excellent ideas and suggestions, and let me respond to them tomorrow in more detail. It's getting a little late now, and uh, we're in the middle of some software development. There will be a new version sometime in the summer. Pretty exciting work. So let's get back to our usual work and start with the indexes here. ES, as you can see, I'm bullish. I'm reading the charts, price action, bottom tails indicate buying, one, two, three, four. Look at this structure. This is a measured move. Nothing that we are not aware of or we haven't seen before. And also bottom tails indicate a bullish pressure on this market. I think it's worth being long. And uh, well, the proper way to do this trade is probably this, something like this. If you ask me or before you start complaining, that's a big chart. The market doesn't care what we think. This is the setup and either you take it or you leave it. You don't have to take it. I don't have to take it. It's here. There's an important information here. We had a recent video about this actually on YouTube. So go to head to YouTube and check out that video about the previous pivot. All right. Long story short, a reason to belong on the ES, the NQ shows the same picture. This is actually the first pullback after the breakout, even though remember this pullback area always gets violated and this is just typical, ugly, but normal market action. This is how the market behaves. Okay, so much about the indexes. Let's move on to currencies. So, okay, so whichever way we're looking at this, this is volatility compression on the weekly chart, obvious. Perhaps it wants to go to the upside and this is a bull flag already triggered on the daily. I don't like this two big red candles. This is not a boring consolidation area on the four hour chart. But if I look at the 6A and the 6N and the 6S all going to the upside, 6A looks excellent. This is a good long entry right here. A little bit late to the 6N. You see it's already moved. But the 6S is also moved big time. And now on the 6S, this situation should also be in the book. This is, the, this is when a setup is setting up. So in this case, we are waiting for a consolidation area to be formed. And look at the four hour chart, the stepwise action is already in progress last three, four days. I'm, I haven't been in this trade, but it looks good now for an upside move on the daily when, if and when we do get the setup completed. MBT is mo moving beautifully, BTC, whichever format you want to trade in. And also there's a question about CFDs and stuff. So ETFs, I always look at ETFs. I'm in Canada, so wherever you are, there are ETFs available and there is a Bitcoin ETF as well. In what format you take advantage of these opportunities is really up to you. Right now, Bitcoin is pushing to the upside and this is, I think this breakout might be successful. Look at the weekly chart. So there's reason to be long on Bitcoin. Okay, and I'm gonna make this short. So let's just stop here. I'm not gonna look at agriculturals because and SI and GC are not really set up right now. And uh, there's not much else is happening here. CL broke down, but I don't wanna short the CL right now. And we are busy on the indexes anyway. And we're going to get back in rhythm here and let's see what the indexes can give us this week. And uh, we'll be back in the morning. Thank you very much and mindful trading.